Elbow pain causes and treatment. Elbow pain is common with several common causes. It is important to make the correct diagnosis of the cause of elbow pain so the appropriate treatment can be given to the patient. So what are the common causes of elbow pain? We are going to group all causes of elbow pain into four groups. One group is anterior elbow pain or in front of the elbow. Another group, medial elbow pain, which is inside of the elbow. Another group, posterior elbow pain or behind the elbow. Another group, lateral elbow pain, or the outside of the elbow. The sites and the location from different causes of elbow pain appear to be close to each other. It may be difficult to determine the source of the pain, and this makes diagnosis of elbow pain difficult or confusing. So let's take causes of elbow pain one by one. The anterior elbow pain, distal biceps tendon rupture. The biceps tendon inserts into the radial tuberosity. It helps in flexion of the elbow and supination of the forearm. When the distal biceps tendon rupture, the patient will have pain, bruising, swelling located in front of the elbow. The injury found in patients who perform manual labor and in bodybuilders. When rupture occurs, the tendon and the muscle may retract proximally, causing a Popeye sign. The rupture affects 40% of spination of the forearm and the tendon needs to be reattached to the tuberosity of the radius. Elbow arthritis. Elbow injuries can lead to loss of cartilage and joint degeneration due to extra wear and tear on the surfaces of the joint. This condition is called osteoarthritis degenerative arthritis, or post-traumatic arthritis. Patient has global pain, stiffness, and loss of motion. The treatment will include anti-inflammatory medication, physiotherapy, injections, and surgery. How about the medial elbow pain? You will find the common flexor tendon and the flexor muscles of the forearm are responsible for flexion of the rest. So the golfer elbow is medial epicondylitis. It involves the flexor muscle group. It is an inflammation, soreness or pain on the inside or the medial aspect of the elbow. This pain is due to repetitive overuse or overload activities and is aggravated by movement of the rest. Treatment of medial epicondylitis includes ice, decreased activity, physiotherapy, eccentric exercises, injections, and surgery. Surgery is the last resort. Cubital tunnel syndrome. Cubital tunnel syndrome occurs due to compression of the ulnar nerve at the medial side of the elbow, resulting in pain, swelling, weakness of the hand, and decreased sensation in the medial one and a half fingers. The problem occurs due to compression where the ulnar nerve passes around the elbow through the cubital tunnel. Treatment, conservative treatment first, and surgery if conservative treatment fails.
Another pathology in the medial side of the elbow is the medial ulnar collateral ligament injury. The injury typically occurs in throwing sports such as baseball as seen in pitching. It is Tommy John injury. It can then lead to chronic pain as well as valgus instability and the condition can be potentially disabling. Treatment includes stop throwing, physiotherapy, evaluation with x-rays or and MRI. Injury may need reconstruction, which is successful, but it will take a long time to restore function of the elbow. Posterior elbow pain, posterior impingement syndrome, valgus extension overload. Extension overload and valgus stress can result in injury of the posterior part of the elbow. Athletes present with posterior elbow pain that worsen when the elbow is extended with loss of velocity and control. Athlete may experience catching, locking, clicking, and stiffness. With repeated forced extension of the elbow, the tip of the olecranon is jammed into the fossa at the back of the elbow, causing inflammation, cartilage injury, loose fragments, and bony spurs. Treatment, usually conservative and rarely surgery. Olecranon bursitis, inflammation of a small sac of fluid located at the tip of the elbow. This bursa allows the elbow to bend and straighten freely underneath the skin, but can become irritated with repetitive movement. Treatment is usually conservative and rarely surgery. Lateral elbow pain, tennis elbow. Tennis elbow, which is also called lateral epicondylitis, occurs due to injury or pathology of the extensor carpi radialis brevis. It's an inflammation, soreness, or pain on the outer side, the lateral side of the elbow. The injury usually seen in patients who perform manual labor or sports that require twisting and extension of the rest against resistance. The extensor muscles of the forearm are responsible for extension of the rest. There will be pain with resisted wrist extension, degeneration, irritation, and tears of the extensor tendon. The differential diagnosis is radial tunnel syndrome. The pain of radial tunnel syndrome is very similar to the symptoms of tennis elbow. The pain is usually distal to the lateral epicondyle and radiates down the forearm. If the symptoms of tennis elbow are not going away with treatment, rule out the possibility of radial tunnel syndrome. What is the treatment of tennis elbow? Ice, elbow pads, decrease and modify activity physiotherapy with eccentric exercises, injections can be steroids or PRP, surgery is the last resort. Posterolateral rotatory instability of the elbow can occur due to excessive debridement and release of the tendon of the extensor carpi radialis brevis and this can lead to injury of the lateral collateral ligament. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.